living organisms any more than your skeleton is bones infested with cells. The Earth is geological, yes, but this geological entity grows people. And so the existence of people is symptomatic of the kind of universe we live in.
We have this hostility to the external world because of the superstition, the myth, the absolutely unfounded theory that you yourself exist only inside your skin. Now I want to propose another idea altogether. is a result of the Big Bang. On the end of the process, you are still the process. You are the Big Bang, the original force of the universe coming on as whoever you are. See, when I meet you, I see not just what you define yourself as, Mr. So-and-so, Miss So-and-so, Mrs. So-and-so. I see every one of you as the primordial energy of the universe coming on at me in this particular way. I know I'm that too.
human consciousness is at the same time as being a form of awareness and sensitivity and understanding. It's also a form of ignorance. The ordinary everyday consciousness that we have leaves out more than it takes in. And because of this, it leaves out things that are terribly important. It leaves out things that would, if we did know them, allay our anxieties and fears and horrors. We would have a deep interior peace. Now, the question that is absolutely basic for all human beings is, what have you left out? Thank you.